Hey, welcome to the channel. Our today's topic is something different because we have generally seen that the damage of nerve at the upper level cause more damage than the damage of same nerve at the lower level. But in the ulnar nerve, we see that the damage of ulnar nerve at the upper level that is the medial epicondyle causes less problem than the damage of same ulnar nerve at the wrist joint. Now this is something opposite to the normal. Now this opposite thing is known as the ulnar paradox. In this video we will learn about the ulnar paradox. Understanding the ulnar paradox, we should first know about the supply of ulnar nerve in the forearm and in the hand. Now this ulnar nerve which is the continuation of the inferior trunk um, which comes behind the medial epicondyle and supply the flexor distorum profundus in forearm and lumbricals and introsi of hand. Now please remember that this ulnar nerve we supply only the medial two tendon of flexor distorum profundus and medial two lumbricals and introsi of hand. Now continuing with the video. First of all, we will discuss the damage of ulnar nerve at the higher level, then at the lower level. Now, the damage of ulnar nerve at the higher level, that is the medial epicondyle, called the paralysis of flexor distorum profundus and the lumbricals and introsi of hand. Now, this damage of lumbricals and introsi, we see the claw hand deformity, but the same damage at the carpal bone, that is the ulnar nerve damage cause only the paralysis of lumbricals and introsi. That's why this claw hand deformity is seen more because there is no effect of flexor distorum profundus which is causing more flexion of this two medial phalanges that is the ring finger and the little finger. Now this paradox that is the damage at the higher level cause less problem and damage at the lower level cause more problem is known as ulnar paradox. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then like, share and subscribe.